Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in this video I will compare two programs. First one is HackerRank and the second one is Code Wars. First, I'll show you HackerRank. Solutions and features, pros and cons, and then the pricing plan. Same thing basically with Code Wars as well. Even though it's a completely different approach to coding, I'll show you the pros and cons and also the pricing plan. Then I'll show you the differences and explain to you at least which one is better in my opinion. For learning more about these programs, there will be links in the description underneath this video. So let's start with HackerRank. HackerRank is a pre-employment testing solution designed to help businesses of all sizes, uh, sizes plan. Source, screen, interview and hire a qualified candidate using a centralized dashboard. It offers, offers a customizable IDE in an environment and a virtual whiteboard to assess and rank different candidates based on their designing skills to streamline remote hiring operations. It also enables managers to set up test cutoff scores and shortlist students from career sites to simplify on campus visits. As you can see, at the hack rank, there are a couple of product solutions and so on. When we go to products, they are looking or they are doing basically your job to help you get the right team or build you the right team through plan and orchestrate an efficient hiring process, source, screen, then the interview and rank. Basically, they cover what you have to cover at uh, hiring your next employees. They are basically focusing, as I said before, they are focusing on a bigger picture. Basically, they are getting the people for you. This is the main difference from Code Wars. You can go through solutions at the remote hiring, university recruiting, for example, diversity hiring, professional hiring. You can go for university recruiting, for example, and check. You can also get a free trial for 14 days. So you can basically test if the hacker rank is the one for you, if you want to work with them to help you build your perfect team. When we check the pricing, we have the interview. Let me just do it like this. We have to we have an interview here, which is $25 a month if it's built annually or $50 if you want to build monthly, which is really like 100% more. There is one interviewer license access to interviewers only and standard content library. Individual. It's more expensive, obviously. It's one full access user license, 360 candidates a year, access to test and interviews, standard content library. Then the team, most expensive one. And you basically get two full access uh, user licenses, three interview licenses, 720 candidates a year, access to test and interviews, premium content library, projects, benchmarking and code reviews. If you're really big, big company, let's call it enterprise platform, you can basically have to personally get in touch with them and they, they will tailor the offer for you. Yet again, still, you can still start a free trial. So let's go and check Code Wars. Code Wars has basically very different approach to this part of problems. When hacker rank is basically recruiting people for you, at the Code Wars you are on the different side of the barricade. You are the one getting hired. So you are the future programmer or you are a programmer yourself and you want to test your skills. For example, like lead code or something like that. But if you want to join to Code Wars, you have to basically prove your skills. For example, choose your language to begin. 
What is good about the Code Wars? It's like a game. In Code Wars, you are basically ranking up by finishing the tasks that you uh, are getting from Code Wars. Those tasks, uh, named Katas or Katas, as you can see, the whole the whole design is Japanese. Those uh, basically are made by different users or the other users at Code Wars. They won't basically prepare you for for the task or for the interviews. That's a bit of a problem here. There is no feedback. You are basically just checking your skills you already have. If you are a beginner, I'm not really sure if Code Wars are is or Code Wars is the best option for you. They are basically you can sharpen your skills, get instant feedback, earn ranks and honor. This way you will basically level up as in game at Code Wars. You can see from 1Q to 8Q and stuff like that. Tap into collective wisdom, create your own Katas and also community love. But yeah, you can really check or test yourself in here. You can basically start by picking the picking the language, let's go with Java. And uh, this code does not execute properly, try to figure out why. Okay, and now you just have to basically enter your email, username and password. So let's try to do that. Can try to end list. Oh, then fortunate. Let's have you log in. And now you can basically train the setup. As you can see, rank eight at the moment. You can basically it's completely free. That's another uh, that's another advantage. It lives off of the ads. In the game or you can pay uh, five euros or well, five dollars per month if you want to have it like without any ads now you can basically what is your programming experience would you like to receive newsletter and so on and so on basically then you will pick the one that you want to start with i'm not sure i could go safe and now you want to get programmed in JavaScript and really just, or you can choose if you want to practice and repeat, rank up or learn the fundamentals and so on and so on. So basically, as you can see, it's very nice if you want to test your skills, but it won't help you in the future, in the future of uh, getting hired because that's more complex. And this is just for really testing your, your skills. So it's hard to compare these two because both of these programs are basically looking at the same problem from completely opposite sides. And yeah, one helps you hire people and the second one will help you get in hired. So if you have any other questions, please leave them in our comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you at another one.